All right, welcome everybody to the Tuesday, April 16th meeting of the Conway Select Board. At 6.30 it will become the joint meeting of the Select Board and Finance Committee. The meeting is being recorded live on FCAT and on Zoom for the town website. It's good for any reason. The Zoom and the FCAT broadcast fail. The meeting will still proceed live and in person. So I call the meeting to order. First item, vote to approve the minutes of April 10th. Those mm -hmm. look good to me. Good. Move to approve the minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 There are no warrants tonight. Meetings attended by select board members. It's Zero. None since Wednesday. <laughs> mm. um, I had a very interesting couple of meetings with Veronique and representatives from the Department of Revenue and Division of Local Services regarding the structure of how to bring in uh, the, t the pestle of the hills within the town government. And um, the long and the short of that is that there is a way. And so that was, you know, I, you saw, you, you know, I think we all saw last week the cars, I don't know if you did or not, um, the correspondence from our town accountant, Mike, to the DOR uh, representative, our, our representative, and the correspondence back saying you can't do it the way, the way that the statute that we were, that had been identified for us back in 2018 said to do it, um, which was to create a revolving fund, have them, uh, deposit monies into the revolving fund and, um, and, and have that the, the committee be the scholarship fund pursuant to that statute. Um, basically, uh, it, you know, Mike asked the right question and, uh, you know, but, and basically the, that, that statute will, and the, re, the revolving fund cannot be used for that statute. And the purposes of the revolving funds are statutorily limited, and that is not one of the things you can use it for. Um, and so, what what we did is um, call call and you know there was a couple of different ways. Veronique had some good ideas about um, different ways to proceed, and we kept on getting no's. And then I sort of like, okay, let me take a couple steps back. This is what we're trying to do, and laid it all out. Um, I mean, the, the, the main point is that if they're a town committee, then they don't have to purchase separate insurance. They don't have to pay the police department to show up, right? right. They can just operate Correct. under all of the towns. Right. The problem the is the scholarship fund. The scholarship is fund. setting up the financial mechanism, both to run the festival and also to deal with the scholarship mm -hmm. fund. So it's a little So and, and and it was tricky enough that the the gentleman that we were speaking with um, was like, I have my whole team here. I gotta hang up from you mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna brainstorm this and he's like, I'm really in favor of what you're trying to do. We're gonna find out a, we're gonna figure out a way. And um, and then we called back and we continued the discussion for a while longer, um, where basically he's like, okay, this is a really clunky short-term solution, but you can do it. And so um, we're going to be finalizing that tomorrow in a meeting uh, with the town council, etc. So, but that's a short-term solution. Because the statutes are not really designed for what we're intending to do, and so, so no, what he's you know he's like what other towns have done, and what you need to do for a long-term solution is get a special act of the legislation, and that that's 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 Massachusetts. You get a special act of the legislation when you have something funky that's different, and he's like that shouldn't be a problem. But it, we, love our we, we know, we, and we know from experience that that is a six month to minimum, more like nine month. It's yeah. a year. Or a year, or a year out. Yeah. Um, but Natalie just sent us a new letter that said, please plan these at least a year out. Yeah. So, 
Um, but that's the long-term solution so that we can do a revolving, so that we can simplify the whole thing, mm -hmm. um, et cetera. But the short-term solution is considerably clunkier, but it is... But it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yeah, um, so that was, you know, and I, I think everybody did what they were supposed to do, but I think like the, the lesson as like the chief executives of the town is to like, when you're not getting the solution that you want, to like keep pushing and keep <laughs> asking. It wasn't really pushing, but we, we hadn't, everybody asked the right questions, but it turned out that the best thing to do wasn't really ask a question, it was to state your problem and, be, um, and, and like allow them to formulate the solution and to talk to the right person that had the authority to do that. So, um, I don't know, I like the way that the process works. So, yeah. um, and, what else, was there, there was, a, there was another meeting as well. Yeah, there were several. Yeah, um, I don't know, I don't know, but um, any public comments, no unfinished business, new business, so, um, yeah, we, we have time, I'm going to skip down the mail, um, <laughs> and uh, the first is from our attorney, and I will read this out loud, um, right, anybody, you have any problem, that's okay to read this out loud, yeah. Mm -hmm. As you know, I have been practicing municipal law in Franklin County for over 40 years. I thoroughly enjoy my practice. I believe that I provide excellent personal service to my clients. The cost of my running my business and delivering the services that I provide have risen considerably. Therefore, I want to inform you that commencing on July 1st, 2024, I will be raising my fees, which I know are currently $150 per hour. I will be raising my fees to $190 per hour for all matters. Thank you. Great pleasure. Da, da, da. So, yeah. Um, so that's the budget item we'd have to tweak. <laughs> right. And um, it's a little bit, you know, most of the towns, it, almost all of the towns that she represents have already had their town meeting or are just about. or have cl like long since closed warrants. Um, so, um, what's our budget last year for? It's eleven thousand. Um, I think it. Hang on, it's right in here. Legal. Um, no, last year was ten. In twenty three, we made it eleven because we thought we might need more. So last, sorry, the, sorry, last year was 11. This year's 10. We only have 10 in for next year. So that would definitely be bumped up. So, I mean, um, on a personal level, level she's delightful. Um, and an iconic figure. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, when when we were de deciding who, what municipal council to obtain after the untimely demise of our previous municipal council, um, the there were multiple options, and um, you know she came highly recommended by several other towns, and she was also the least expensive. And I don't know that we can say that anymore. No. We have to check around. And that's, yeah. you know, it's a 20 and something percent increase. So we, we need up the budget that much. So yeah, what have we spent a, on? That's almost a 30 percent increase. Yeah. yeah. What have we spent on the legal council this year? Do we know? Well, recently we've had more bills come in because. Um, of the it's North the time Poland. of the year. It's well, no, North Poland Bridge is this whole special separate yeah, it is. project. Yeah. That has been, a, and a that's been, deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the last couple of bills I've gotten have been up there. We haven't gone over yet, mm -hmm. and it's close to the end of the fiscal year. But, and, um, 
and we're going to be spending money on her tomorrow because she needs to draft the language to create a special act of legislation. Plus tomorrow. reviewing the warrant and the motions. Yeah, and, and, and coming to town meeting. And coming to town meeting. So, so at what point do we need to decide whether we're going to? Well. I mean, we were kind of forced into the position because we, like, we didn't have counsel. <laughs> We so. don't have a contract with her. We have a month, month so it's a month-to-month -month agreement. And she raises them on the first, so. Um, but there still are budget implications. Yeah, I, I would say we put the money in the budget and then after town meeting, yeah, you know, when it's a little calmer. Yeah, and I think just that act of, like, I mean, we were in the position where we, had to scramble for legal counsel. Like, if we decide that we want to do legal counsel, I feel like that should be a very deliberate process mm -hmm. of you know, yes. evaluating I, our current counsel, looking at other options, and mm -hmm. kind of determining, you know, what's the price point and what level of service. Because I know I can call Donna anytime and she picks up the phone. You know, so um, I don't, but I, I, I never dealt with our previous legal counsel. It'd be one thing to manage a 10 to 15 percent increase because we could manage decreasing the amount of time yeah. for a console, <laughs> but 30 percent is you can't always, though. That's the problem. Things come up, and you right. yeah, you never know, you never know what's right. going to happen. So, yeah, you don't know if this rate is just right middle of the pack or whether it, well, you know, no, we have a pretty good idea. Um, I mean, it's getting into the range of let's just say the other larger firms that have more specialists with them. And I understand a small firm, I used to be a small business person, overhead kills you, <laughs> you know? Um, so, so I totally understand. And that there are several large firms that mm -hmm. have the great majority of all towns, but between the two of them have the great majority of all towns in the state. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah. and with, specialists in every area municipal gotcha. everything yeah. so that's that's always been the competition mm -hmm. so what do you think should i put in fourteen thousand just to be safe to cover us? that's going to be enough yeah yeah 15? no more than that i, th I would think yeah. I, you know, well what's that going to do to the i mean not that much Let's see, let me see something real quick. Well, no, there's been some good, the, 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 again, we're, we're on a roll with late-breaking budget news all in, yeah. the, all, all in our favor. Um, and there's recent budget news in that regard where the amount of uh, free cash yeah. has, is larger by, by a considerable amount than what we thought. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, that's the that's a thirty percent increase. Okay. So yeah. that's, I think that sounds reasonable. Based on eleven, you said eleven, right? 11. No, I said ten. So 10. we should make yeah, it fifteen. Yeah, but we year. we did it eleven last year because of all the sixty nine Main Street stuff that was going on. Thirteen. Exactly. For thirty percent, obviously thirteen. I think fifteen is a good good number given all the things that you guys have outlined. going on. Yeah. I mean, if we don't use it, we don't use it. If we don't use it, it's just yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay, increase legal to 15 grand. You get a box of chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Um, so there was, and there was another item on mail, which is a mystery to me. I hope it's a nice surprise rather than unpleasant surprises. Yeah, I'm confused by this um, one. But, yeah. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Honorary mascot of Conway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so <laughs> true. It's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> no, the donut passed. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. I was hoping you'd all be a little more nervous. <laughs> for the end of the yeah, meeting. So I was. <laughs> I was. That's awesome. Bless you. Thank oh, you, you can so still support us. 
some of the um, warrant changes that are not related to. Yeah, let's do that. Well, if it's a, I don't know, should we, since it's a joint meeting? And we can't it's start. Like, if it's notice for 6.30, we can't, 630, can't, 630, can't 630, start early. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so, let's see. Well, actually, this one might end up being by the Finance Committee, the placeholder for Festival of the Hills. Mm. So it's a transfer station revenue. So really, I guess it would only be that the Community Preservation Committee sent me their um, their article. I haven't gotten the information updated from Lee yet, but she'll send that to me. Um, and then we have the citizen petition. But I, you know, that actually I may have to change where the Festival of the Hills is because that's going to have to be. I know there won't have to be a bylaw change, will it? No, but there will be a bylaw change with the revolving fund for the transfer station. I'm babbling. Sorry. Yeah, no, the, mm -hmm. the, the Festival of the Hills is not a bylaw change. It is a, no, it is a, a, a vote to instruct your state representative right. to. Right, but that but, would probably be an act of the special special legislature, which would be down by the citizens' petition. So that'll, be a, that'll get moved to the end. But I mean, according to our conversation with the DOR, there's no town, there will be no need for a town meeting vote. That's what you say. For, for, the, for the clunky. <coughs> Correct. For the clunky in, um, immediate path. Correct. Forward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, as always, don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, the Article 2, that's just a placeholder. Um, yeah, gosh, you know, most of these in here are actually financial. <laughs> they really are. Uh, one thing to let you know, I had in here from last year, and I can repeat this for other finance committee folks if they show up, but um, the Shelburne Falls paving note was well over 60000 65, huh? Yeah, and last year we paid it. Um, out of free cash, so I just this year threw it in as a free cash, but it's not. She, Jan, put it into her budget. Oh, oh. so we just gained. We gained sixty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. So if you look at the um, wow. one of the big ledgers that I gave you with the free cash recently. on the back side of this one that has the free cash balance, cool. you'll see that our ending balance is now one hundred and six eight three five. Oh, just lower taxes. Okay. <laughs> So that was some good news. And the other thing I could discuss real quick, um, because this will have to come to us very soon, I'm assuming they'll get it to us quickly, but the Board of Assessors has voted to hire RRG, and I forget what that stands for. Mm -hmm. Consulting, big consulting company. Right, I just forget what the RRG stands for, but as they're, they're gonna be getting a certain number of hours yeah. Yeah. assessing, instead of hiring the administrative assessor. Okay. They're gonna go with the firm. And they're going to get a certain amount of time in the office, and then the rest of it will be done behind the scenes. So they actually come out here, or are they going to do it all like by drawing? No, they're going, to, they're going to be in the office for certain hours, but not all that many as far as I know. And then, um, so they're covered for the end of this fiscal year, but they're going to need to come back to you all by next week. <laughs> um, to they, she told me that they needed forty thousand, not the thirty-nine that they had in there. Mm -hmm. And of course, it would change from a salary to a contracted services right. or right. whatever Mike right. deems it should be. Um, so that will be a, an uptick mm -hmm. and a change. But you save on benefits. I'm sorry. You save on benefits. You do save on benefits. So. Speaking of which, um, is that a, 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 the contract? Is it yeah. an annual contract? Is it? More? I believe it's going to have to be signed by the select board because it's a three-year. Of course, they're always subject to appropriation, but... That's good to know. I'm yeah. always concerned these companies that give you a nice rate the first year. Yeah. So yeah. Something years yeah. can clog you over the head. So what kind of presence will we have here in this building for, for residents to 
I think it's a couple days a week and a few hours each day. But it's, it's one of their staff that's going to come down. Yes, correct. Okay. And yes. they will actually be. On they will actually be be on premises. Okay. So there will yes. be there will be fixed fixed hours. That's what that's my understanding. Okay, so we have to get the contract. Yeah. 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 Review the proposal. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And when I was going through the warrant, I get the, my one question about Article Two is about the frontier, the way that the frontier. I'm not old enough. Um, because I, I had thought that there was that this was the last year of frontier debt service for the track, and I didn't know where that was. They 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 moved that. That was that. But that whole move was for with um, Deerfield it was to take it out of the capital assessment. Yeah. Um, so, but. I, I just I, I, I um, before we finalize this, could, could yeah, it took to run this by Shelley and just make sure. Well, that she's the one who sent it to me. I know, but I can this, this, say this is what we're going with. Just make sure that it's okay. Yeah, um, I think I already did that. But I can do it okay. Again. If you already did that, then forget it. Mm -hmm. But that's what the one where they were going to pay it off. Yeah, entirely. and then you yeah, and came in and right. wanted them to maintain the debt exclusion on it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so I thought it got. Put back, um, I, but it, it, it was. Well, that's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah just, double check it. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, because council, you have council in the school board, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a question about Article Three because this was on the warrant last year. Is this something that we just have to do every, every year? year? Yeah. Really? According to Donna, it's one of those po boilerplates that needs so, okay, to be so in that's, there. Yeah. So we just have to do it every year. Basically, because you're setting the salaries every single year, so, so we have to be given authority by town. Okay. Yeah. While we're waiting for six thirty, <laughs> can encourage anybody watching the residents to go on to the Conway website and fill out the residential groundwater survey. Mm -hmm. So we can obtain data on those that are being affected or have been affected by the numerous floods. And while you're filling out that survey, your first instinct might be, wow, there's only a handful of questions. What good information can they get? But then you'll see there's a, per, there's a box, a big long box where you can write as much as you want about oh. your conditions and your circumstances and please go into detail there. That's what they really value the, the, the information that they get. This is for Congress assembling all this information? Mm -hmm. it was, I thought it was UMass. UMass it's and, 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 and State. State. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's been, I mean, I keep seeing news articles about, like, that's an issue statewide. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I guess better than having a drought, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> property. Neither case. respond. I know. Okay, so if you can see that on the screen, um, not very well. Let's see if I can make it bigger. That's from Shelly. Okay. Yeah. This is from Shelly, and um, oh, you don't, you don't have to. <laughs> I just want to let you see. So this is for FRS, and that's exactly what I have in. I hope it better be. Uh, the total. Well, I've got the title right anyway, yeah. Oh, because the debt is put into the general. Okay, so if you add the general fund plus the debt, that's the 1654697, transportation 32, capital zero, and the total is 1687474. I can send this to you if you want. So I was right, there was a day. But you just the way you did it was to that fold it into Well the, I I never it into the, Yeah, I never break it out. Okay. But yeah. So I mean we can if you want to do that. No, I'm okay. Okay. This is simple enough. However you want to doesn't make any do the budget's fine. 
and it is kosher to do it that way, right? It's like totally okay. I don't know why it wasn't cheap. Money is fungible. Um, and so the other thing... <laughs> the, the other thing, just to let you know real quick, is that um, Jan had given me an update on the employee benefits line, which is 970, I believe. I'm sorry, 900 employee costs. So that number is not reflected in the sheets you have, but it's actually instead of the 787-228, it's 806-752. Where are you at? Oh, uh, all right. 900. If you look at line 900, um, so if, yeah, there you go. You're flipping it over properly. No, the warrant in the right hand. You're, yeah. So look down for the line 900 that says employee costs, which is basically the health, the benefits. Um, the 787-228 is going up now to 806-752. Is that because of anticipating like a couple more employees going to health insurance too? No, this is the increase that we got for- oh. 8%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. yeah, and that, that came in later afterwards. So, yeah. wow. so that will, I'll have that updated for the next one, but yeah. yeah. Responsible for a significant part of our school increase too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so too, mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. um, I can just explain at least the sheets that are in front of you. What I did before we get into the so with the three ledger sizes that you have in front of you, one of them is the just the four percent cola. The other one is just the salary request increases. And then the third one is the recap, which on the back has the free cash. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that will be helpful tonight for the decisions. Because the main, I can't really get you absolute numbers mm -hmm. until there are some decisions made. Mm -hmm. Because everything kind of shifts around yeah, depending. Of Thirty more seconds. I, did, <laughs> I just dipped over to six. Now it's six thirty. I make a motion to call the finance meeting to order. You can just call the meeting to Second. All right. All in favor? I'll do it. Thank you. Um, and then you want to approve the minutes for the time. I make a mo motion to approve the meeting minutes from the finance committee to May tenth. Second. All in favor? No. I do. April 10th. All the minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Do I have Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, three, three are. Two, two abstentions. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Roy said he's going to attend the meeting online. Didn't hear barking dog yet. Cuisine. You need to get the oh. uh, hear a chime when you the person is reading it. So which would you um, prefer to start with, the warrant or the budget? I think the budget. Really. Budget, okay. It's actually more on the budget than on the warrant. <laughs> Okay, so last week you'd asked me to put together what it looked like for a 4% COLA, which was midway between the 2 and 6 range that we had done before. Um, <laughs> There's a range of 3, 4, 5, and 6%, between 4%. So, I don't even know if I'm if you have them both in front of you, actually, if you've got the salary request and the 4%, yep. I want to draw your attention to the line um, right under 900 where it says total. Mm -hmm. And on the COLA sheet, the 4% COLA, it says 1.38%. Um, yep. yep. And then on the salary request, it says 312 just to the left of that, those two numbers, on the COLA, the 39661 mm -hmm. and the 89797. Mm -hmm. So 
the reason I can't give you anything, putting them together is difficult, is because if someone, it's been the practice here that if somebody gets a salary increase that's larger than the COLA, they don't get the COLA on top of that. Right. Mm -hmm. So until I know what the Finance Committee and the Select Board has decided about the salary increases, I can't give you a real good accounting of the COLA. Do you see what I mean? Because, yeah, yeah. okay, all right. Um, so you, in other words, it's not you need to vote. I'm sorry? Right? Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, in order for me to give you accurate information, there's going to have to be a vote on the salary requests yeah. and the, um, and the COLA. And I'm, the salaries won't be done until the end of this week, right? Correct. So at least if, if everybody agreed on the COLA, that would be huge to know, you know, where, where we're heading so that when we get the salary information, I can actually give you accurate numbers. Anybody have any thoughts about the COLA? Well, I mean, you know, I'm glad you know, there last last week there was some that advocated for three and a half percent and some that advocated for four percent. I still I just like to narrow the choices down to those two and how about, how about, how about three and three quarter? <laughs> yeah. Well Al, Al and I had spoken after the meeting and Five yeah, five percent might work, given where we are. Just that we didn't give an increase the year, the year before, and there was eight percent for inflation. So I don't, we still have problems with filling positions and retaining employees. So we're definitely still behind the eight ball in yeah. terms of keeping up with the salaries in the region. And we're talking about five percent versus four. It's an increase of of what fifteen hundred dollars, sixteen hundred dollars approximately. Um, no, more than that. Well, Not I, by much. Well, four percent is uh, Article Two with, with the COLA. Thirty-nine thousand. Yeah, Thirty-nine. I thought we talked. If we talked about a three percent total, is an increase of thirty thousand bucks. And then that's three percent. So you know, probably another ten grand, right? Hang on, I've got it right here. I just have to center it so you can actually see it. Thank you. Um, so this was the COLA. I don't know why that's. Um, oops. Oh, <laughs> this is where we were the last time. Sorry, oh, but I yeah, didn't yeah, freeze the top pane. <laughs> Column. So you have to go to view. Remember that. <laughs> yes. Window freeze pane. <laughs> That's it. Window view. Window freeze pane. Oh, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> uh, okay. Freeze top row. All right, there we go. Thank you. Oh, I'm way too far down. Okay, here we go. Um, I didn't see that too well. Right, okay, so so this is the one I put in there. You can see on the sheet, it's the 35. Um, yeah. So 5% would be here. Yeah. That's what you'd be looking at. Yeah. But those, now we know that the, those numbers aren't, we know that there's more. We know that there's the employee benefit number, number went up and the legal is going up. Correct. Yeah. And that there's other salary numbers to plug in. Correct. Contractual salary numbers. Which will actually bring the COLA number down. Yeah. Because that includes salaries that we're talking about increasing right. above right. COLA. So yeah. COLA will come down, but, salaries will go up. But the total percentage will go up. You mean the, red, the, the bottom line The bottom line. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. hang on a second. I tried to do this here. Wow. Oh, let me freeze paint. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, oh, no, it's this one, sorry. Uh, oh, gosh. Alright, so this is where I tried to do that for you all. When was the last time we I mean, was in a to, to me, the the in one more week, we're going to have all the other number, all the other pieces to the puzzle. Yeah. 
Because we're going to have the salary so, Yeah, we're going to have yeah. all the salary numbers. Well, and, and, and right, all but the this other is numbers with the salary. This, that's why I, this is what you all have requested yeah. before. To put, this so is this the best I can with the salary. Correct. So the two point nine. Correct. Percentage. So you see the general fund goes up quite a bit, but the, still the overall percentage of the budget last year yeah. was 3.4. Yeah. And this is still 2.3. This does not include the contractual salaries, though. Yes, it does. It does, because it just. Yeah. I put them in <laughs> so that you could have a. I put in all the requests. Not to mention you recaptured $65,000. Yeah, we have more. Yeah, right, that, but that doesn't affect this. Cash. Yeah, that's free cash. That's, right. that's just our <coughs> reserves. Okay. So you, you said it was 3.4 last year? Yeah. Correct. What was the COLA last year? 3.39, sorry, last year. It was 3% yeah. last year, right? Right. What was the COLA last year? Two. Oh, two, no, two and a half, wasn't it? Or two? It's just a two. Two percent. Yeah. I'm listening, I'm thinking, I'm not sure when we, when did the town ever do more than a three percent COLA? I'm because not sure they have. I, I remember doing a three and a half. Really? Must have uh, been once. Yeah, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Here in five, definitely jumping up. Well, what happens is that, you know, you, you don't give the raises, and then all of a sudden you have to give a big one because your, your salaries keep getting further and further behind the market. That's it. And so, so at some point, the chickens come home to roost. Right. So, but we, we, and, you, and, and in the meantime, you risk losing, you know, losing staff. I think more than that, though, it, on a broader sense than that, it, you know, we are making adjustments to numerous salaries to make them more in line with yeah. the with the market, in addition to the cola, um, but the the whole point is with all of this, the reasons that we do two and a half percent, the reasons why four years ago or whatever we did zero, um, and then the year after did two and a half times two, um, to, you know, is because when times are lean for the town budget, we ask the employees to share the sacrifice mm -hmm. when times are I'm not going to say flush but but but, but, but that, you're, you're but, arguing against yourself there aren't you because we're saying well we never go above three percent or you know or well we never to, so when are the employees sharing in the good uh, times? what I was going what I was getting to <laughs> yeah, what I was going, getting to okay. um, what was that that what if you can if we can be more generous and keep the total increase under three percent. Then that's mm -hmm. like that's okay. my thought. you know that's what I was getting to. Um, yeah. So um, yeah. I mean, that, two that, years ago, that, like be, because in the past that's the the reason we haven't been able to be more generous is because the budget just wouldn't yeah, allow us to be yeah. conservative about the and total. Yeah, and then in the pandemic, I mean, we didn't know we were facing all kinds of uncertainty regarding the onset of the pandemic. Yeah. And, and honestly, the reason we are as flush as we are this year is because of the school budgets, which is, as we know, more than you know, Schools are good. There's less school choice, and uh, kids, people, are students are staying within. I mean, these are all really, really important things. Yeah, yeah. But and, well, we have good support. And we were still quality. able, and we were still able to accommodate the capital requests and to keep, mm -hmm. you know, keep yeah. them on track. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. Then I would, I would advocate for five percent. I think it makes sense. Every time we have to go out and, and uh, hire someone, and we're way behind the pay scale. It's like we're getting clobbered. It is a little tricky, though. A few years ago, the cold attack, and it's changed since, but yeah. at that year, there was no cost of living increase for Social, Social Security. Security. Right. That was in 2020, I think, right? So it's not an ancient history. Right. No. So, you know, it's, I'm going to guess around a third of the towns about that stretch. So, you know, there's a little bit, there's a wrinkle in there. You're asking people that aren't getting it to fund people that are. And, you know, it's just, I'm not saying you don't do an 8 whatever. Percent. And 8% Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's so the following year. We did 8.7 in 2022. Yeah, exactly. That was in 22. So we, we were really harsh. harsh. I mean, that was bad. I, I, I feel like if the budget can support it, we should do it. Yeah. And, you know, and then and there will probably be another year where it can't, right. and there won't be. Yeah, exactly. You know, That's it. but if we're in, in a position where we can, you know, reward, appreciate town employees. It looks like Roy. <laughs> we have a Roy imposter. The elusive. <laughs> so, uh, 
to Tom's point, 2015, 2016 were basically zero for Social Security. Yeah, for a lot of years. Since then, 2017, two, 2018, three, 2019, 1.6, 2020, 1.3. Here's where it picks up. 2021, six, 2022, 8.7, 2023, 3.4. Yeah. So that in 2024 too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So in, in the last four years, we're looking at what 17, something like that. Yeah. It's a lot. And of course, the health care costs. Yeah. Not yeah, just for the town, but for yeah. the employees. People in general in the workforce, people leaving jobs for other jobs, and we see it twice, twice a day. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we're facing. It's, uh, it's where we are. Well, that's where we are. Yeah. So, um, I, I, you know, I, the parameters of the discussion are set, mm -hmm. and um, I would say, you know, I'd be more comfortable just postponing a decision until all the var variables are set. But I think. Right. So you want? Well, so we'll assume five percent, and we'll, we'll vote that next week. I'll, right? I'll work up another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I pretty much have it there. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's nicer, cleaner if you just see it all on one sheet. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So no, we, can work, we can wear the uh, targets on our vest. Yeah. 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 We already voted. I'm not on the finance committee. Okay, so that's that. And then, um, now some of the races were contractual, but some of them are not. So. I don't know if you want to leave those for next week, too. Can I speak to the language of what you said before, that if the COLA or the, the raise was higher than the COLA, then there would be no COLA? I just want to make sure that we're not saying, let's say we have a 5% COLA and they have a 4% raise. Oh, yeah, it's whichever is greater. greater of the two, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, but okay. I think, like, for instance, when I did, well, I have to make sure that's true for the request I made for my um, but the transfer station, I made sure it was above the 6% range I'd given you, so that should be. Yeah, I'm just saying it should be whatever the greater. Yeah, the greater. Is. You're, you're absolutely correct. No, that's, <laughs> that's not the two gonna, combined. Yeah, right, yeah. Exactly. Here's your raise. Right. Thank you so much. And everybody else gets 5%. Right. Yeah, no, we don't do that. <laughs> okay. And we should actually make that a formal policy, actually. I don't know if it is. I've never seen that it reduced to writing, but it's, it's been an informal policy for Oh, yeah, it's in the play manual thing, yeah. I think, probably. Okay. Maybe the person can look at it. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's actually a good one. Good point. Good point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right, so... So, and again, just to going over the recap sheet, you can see from this that we're actually in really good shape here. That's the one with at the top that says FY25 budget amounts to be raised. Mm -hmm. So it gives you in the top, it says all the amounts to raise and appropriate, then there's all the Warren articles. And um, I mentioned earlier, but I don't think everybody was here, that uh, I had put um, the 65,000, it's like 65,270 or something, for the Shelburne Falls paving note, I had put in 
as a free cash. And it turns out Jan had put it in her budget. So I was counting it twice in here. So I was able to take it out of free cash, which is why we're doing much better for free cash now. And then if you look down the bottom where it says- That's Rich really important, because that sets us up better for next year. Oh, yeah. And that's just a, yeah. that's, when you can do good for this year and do good for next year, mm -hmm. that's yeah. a really good thing. You can hope for more miracles in 25. There you go. Yeah, right? So that would be, that would leave us with 106, 835 left for free cash, mm -hmm. which is great. And then if you look down the recap check, um, we used a very conservative number for new growth, which is what Mike recommended, the 100,000. It may end up being more than that, which we'll definitely go for next to our free cash for next year, too. But look at that excess levy capacity. I mean, last year it was about half a million. Yeah. Right now it's, you know, like 870,000. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. That's Hopefully no more really, really wealthy people move into town and we get more cuts in Chapter 7 and 91. Yeah. Yeah. Or we get the state to change the formula. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be the miracle. Yeah. That, that would. That would be. <laughs> yes. I'm not holding my breath. <coughs> on the police are we on warrant by warrant article? Because I was just going to say on the, on the police cruiser, mm -hmm. I reached out about the grant. It's not available right now. Okay. So um, I had asked if there were other grants, and I was told to click a link <laughs> to get updates. Like updates a link there. There's a link for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Don did that as well. Right. Yeah, Chief okay. Bates told me he did that. And also, just so you know, I hadn't realized this, but... Um, you see the private foundation grants that we're looking at? It's the state. State, yeah. Wow. Yep, so I reached out to the um, Office of Grants and Research. And oh, good. Because their name was on the, the, yeah, yeah. the Burn JAG grant we were going for. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and that's what she told me, just to click the link and there'll be updates that are not sure if the grant will be even available next year or not. Um, um, so it's not a uh, level funded kind of thing? It doesn't appear so. It doesn't appear it's a year to year level funded grant. I did change the language on that article because I didn't realize until I spoke with Chief Bates today that it includes up. <laughs> Upfitting as opposed to the uplifting I put yeah. in the previous yeah. word. <laughs> yeah. So it includes the upfitting, the, the amount that he gave. Oh, good. Yeah, because the base prices of these cruises, that's what they were going It's only $50,000, but it's only mm -hmm. upfitting. Yeah. Did you want to do any voting on these tonight? Do you knock them out of the way? or? On Article Two or stuff. Yeah, I get to skip Article Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Save the best for us. And I'm not. Re we're not ready for the capital uh, capital um, vehicles either. Oh, okay. Oh, none of the capitals. I I would like to have firmer numbers, mm -hmm. not oh. just a flat. You know, here's a hundred thousand. Oh. Um. So I I I need to work on that some more. Sorry. Well, you could do four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, they all kind of go together. Yeah. Package. All right. Great. Thank you. 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 Thank
Should I comply? For video surveillance. For video surveillance. For the comic grand school. For the comic grand school. Article 5. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, Tom, have you? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Five All right. For the select board, same motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. So, <coughs> Phil, how much is now in the <coughs> school stabilization fund? Two to twenty-five. Two twenty-five. The change. Yes. Should be somewhere in the sheets for you. Somewhere. Hmm. It's somewhere in the book. Article six. All right. <clears throat> Article six to see if the town will vote to transfer seventeen thousand seven hundred dollars from the Conway Grammar School Stabilization Fund to provide mini splits for the Conway Grammar School. I make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Five All right, and before we make the same motion for the select board, I'll just read, the, read out the note, because this is important for this article, right. that the, these funds were earlier rebated to the town after the last mer purchase of mini splits last year but had to revert to the general fund. So this would, in effect, be a reimbursement to the school for the rebate that they secured. Exactly. So I, I was wondering if we, we need to reword this article or if we can just put that explanation in, like, the study guide. <laughs> yeah, I can take that out. We just put that in the... Um, um, How about both? That's a good... Yeah, idea. I mean, yeah. Like, instead, of, instead of to provide so these splits, to reimburse the school for... I mean, make a it's because it is a reimbursement really. It's like it's not like it is, but we're taking it out of the capital stabilization. So I don't know if that language would be as clean. Yeah. Okay. I don't know whether it matters. I mean, I it'll be in like the. You know. I think in the Warren Light, we, 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 Warren Light, we can just say it's essentially serving as a revolving thing, right? We're getting yeah. Reimbursed. I mean, it's. I just, I just don't know whether we need to actually change the language of the warrant article or if it's enough to just uh, put I, it in the. I thing. believe it. I don't know. It's okay. Probably if that's easier to. You might end up confusing more people. Okay, leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, same, same motion for the select board then. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. So, you got to skip seven because we don't know what the amount's going to be yet. Yep. Okay. Um, so seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we can do eight. eight. We can do eight. Yeah, we can do eight. Right? Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. And, all right. Article eight. To see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash one hundred thousand dollars for the truck fire truck stabilization fund as follows: Fire department one hundred thousand dollars to save for a new rescue pumper. Expected purchase in twenty twenty eight. Or take any action relative there too. I make a motion. Can you give a second? Second, what's your motion? Oh, he just made the motion. Right. Just made the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries 5 0. Thank you. Same motion for the select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. On the 12. Article 12, to see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash $50,000 to the General Stabilization Fund. I make a motion. Any a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Which, which Article 12? Article 12. I repeat it? You're moving so fast. I am. I'll repeat it. Article 12, to see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash $50,000 to the General Stabilization Fund. I Second motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries five over. Same motion for the select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thirteen. Article 13. To see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash $100,000 to the Ambulance Stabilization Fund towards the purchase of a new ambulance. I make a motion. Anyone care to second? And second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Same. Same motion for the select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. I said I too. That was very quiet, so nobody heard. Mm -hmm. Thanks for clarifying that. Yes. Fourteen. Yeah, Article Fourteen seems fairly straight up. Article Fourteen. You know, you want to no, no, I, I can type it jo in. John is the fastest typist in public comment. <laughs> <laughs> Article Fourteen. <laughs> You see, if the town vote to transfer $36,088 from the ambulance receipts fund for a partial payment for ambulance department operational expenses or take any action relative thereto. I make a motion. Anyone care to second? Second. So, all in favor? No. Aye. 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 Carries five off. Thank you. Same motion for the select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So I didn't get um, to change the wording on All Article right, so 15. So we'll skip over 15, okay. and we we, de we definitely want That's one of my favorite articles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we were going to think how well that is. Well, All I was, was going to yeah. say was you take out, there's two A's for AA, <laughs> just went for a preliminary study by an energy consultant. And, you know, that's all I, you do for changing yeah, it. Yeah. Thank um, you. I, a name, an actual name would be even better. No, but we can't attach a no. name to it. Like, but they, the they have one. They, they must have. They have, they have one, but what if something happens? Or yeah, I don't think we want to vote. I mean, I don't. I, they, this was their original language from the committee, so, you know, accepted. I, you know, we, I wouldn't want to put the name of any yeah. actual firm that we're going to contract with, and even like well vetted, I mean, just. This is what they're asking for. They want to contract with, mm -hmm. with the consultants and. Honestly, I, I still have questions about this. Um, I, I, it, it, so it, you know, I, is this, is this going to save us money? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. It will pay for itself within four years. I mean, we're pretty sure from what okay. we've seen, but we have to do an actual study to like. The study will help determine what the savings could be. Right. But we know that we won't be know savings. until we have the yeah. study done. Yeah. But. Just like the transfer station. But we can guess. Yeah. And the guess on the transfer station was very accurate. It was very close. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm hoping the same on this as well. Yeah, because yeah, like the other towns who've done this work mm -hmm. have realized those cost savings, so I can't imagine so that. Day after the week after week looking at the corporate speak of this one has just gotten me more and more nervous. <laughs> cost op optimized solution is just a phrase that I just have an allergy to, I think. <clears throat> and I mm -hmm. but um well, what's, then, what's, yeah. what's the annual bill? It varies because of the season. I want to say six thousand to nine thousand. I thought it was. I thought it was eight thousand. Yeah, yeah I think it was somewhere to eight. in that range. Mm -hmm. Depends on the month you multiply it from. Yeah. Really, you have to take the whole year because they vary by. Yeah. I mean, there's well, a cost savings. No, 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 no. So what this study is right. going to do is to number one absolutely verify that we have all the street lights in town that. They say we do. Yeah. <laughs> and then look at the cost savings for changing the fixtures mm -hmm. to LED. Which we would have to purchase. <clears throat> yeah. And correct. And, and install and maintain. Correct. Yeah. But the sustainability committee is planning and is already talking to the green communities grant program about getting grant funding to help with that phase of it. Mm -hmm. So what we're hoping is that you know we get the study done and they tell us basically exactly what we need to do to, to yeah. Yeah. maximize our work or reduce our costs um, we did have a meeting with um, Chief Bates and uh, Ron to discuss which areas in town they thought we might be able to get rid of some of our street lights because we have so many compared to other towns and um, how many is like many uh, so we 64 have or 84 to, I know we have 80 80 something. no we have 64 wow. and Ashfield has was it 8 or 18 Wow. I think it's 18. Wow. 18, I think it was like 12 yeah. or something. And Shelburne has like yeah. 113 or something. Anyway, we yeah. have a lot. Yeah, wow. so, so the consensus <laughs> with our chief of police and highway superintendent was that, well, Route 116, if there's a sidewalk, there should be a light. And if there's a dangerous intersection or a crosswalk, there should be a light. Um, 
but basically what we need is the study to be done to give us the options that we can yeah. go with. Uh, and what other towns have done this? Shelburne. Well, Shelburne's in the middle of doing it right yeah, now. Doing yeah. It now. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, you know, they're pure towns. So good. But they, they, uh, they, have more like, they must have more lights than we do. A hundred something. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. Oh, but they've, but they're, the, they're potentially saving an enormous amount of money oh, yeah. by, by owning those poles yeah. instead of yeah. Yeah. paying uh, you know, rent to Eversource. And I, you know, I know I, I wanted to do that. You know, this, this has been my thing that we have too many street lights for a very long time. I, I do disagree with the, with the assertion that wherever there's a sidewalk, you need all the existing lights. I think some of them are pretty close together and overlap and yeah. it's not necessary to have mm. one every 20 feet. Um, so I, you know, I don't, well, those but, are yeah. things that can yeah. be discussed like, yeah. Yeah. as we get information from the study. And, and beautifying a town doesn't always just include flowers you see during the day. Yeah. If we have... We could use more of them, too, though. But also, yeah. the, the real... Well, they look good but, but we're going to... Eventually, like, if we, were to move, if we were to own our own streetlights instead of, like, basically renting from yeah. Eversource, yeah. we would have control over this. We would save a lot of money every year. And light pollution. Favorite. Put caps on. We'll push oh, the light oh, down. Good. We'll see more stars. I know in cer certain states, it's been environmentalists that said that you know, Northampton had that squawk. Mm -hmm. They put LEDs in about affecting wildlife. But we just, but I don't, my big well, thing I is like, like we're not paying ever so far. We'll own those poles. We'll own those lights. We'll own them, but then of course that does mean that we have to maintain them. And one of the things that the committee was looking into was joining with. Sorry, jo joining with other towns on a maintenance contract for somebody who right. would, yeah. yeah, so to try to realize some savings there as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I, you know, I, 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 like the, I like the idea of changing the phrase to provide a cost optimized solution to save the town money and use, elect use less electricity. There you go. To just switch it from corporate speak to what we're actually doing. To provide savings and savings reduce our carbon and footprint. Reduce the carbon footprint. There we go. Savings and carbon I love footprint. That. I mean, there you go. yeah. The green um, economy. That sounds like corporate greenwashing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it certainly is. That's why I like it. Okay, just save money. Let's just say save. Nah, that's not too corporate. <laughs> okay. Are so we, we'll vote on this next week. with we reword it? What, what seems yeah, like? we'll reword it. Okay, I got thank you. <laughs> Make sure Tony McNichols agrees with the corporate speech. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like a bird. Sorry. Right. So Article 16 may end up actually going into the bylaw section because this, the transfer station revenues fund was not included in our original, because you know, the, you, you have to put all these revolving funds now in your bylaw and say what your limits are. And the first time you do it, you have to talk about what the uses are and who's in charge of it and that, all that kind of stuff, which we did with the ones in Article 17 that we have not done with the transfer station revenues yet. So that will probably get moved, and I'll have to get the language from. Mm. Um, so that'll probably be in the bylaws because it has to be a bylaw change. Okay. And then, but you, we could vote on um, Article 17, which came yeah, right from Mike and Chela. Yeah. And those are revolving funds. Too. Correct. And all this, as a matter of fact, the the um, municipal empowerment act that they're trying to pass, if it passes, they're going to try to do away with having to even do this every year, and the only time you would have to put it on your warrant is if you change the spending limit. Yeah. Yeah. But for now, we still have to vote on the limits, right. even yeah. if they haven't changed. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll read Article 17. To see if the town will vote to authorize the following fiscal year 25 expenditure limits for the town of Conway revolving funds, pursuant to MGL Code 44, section 53 and a half, and the town of Conway bylaw up to $5,000 from the Medicaid Revolving Fund, up to $6,000 from the Dog Licenses Fund, up to $10,000 from the Newsletter Revolving Fund, and up to $20,000 from the Conway Youth Sports Program Revolving Fund. 
or take any action relative thereto. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Same motion for the select board. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Was this the one right last year, Danny? I'm sorry? I'm, I'm, just, I'm going through the, the warrant light, and I don't, did we have this on the warrant last year? Because I don't, oh, yeah. it might have been, it will, is it, it in was the bylaws? Broken up. I think it was in the bylaws. Was, okay, yeah. so maybe, all right. Yeah, the Medicaid fine. Revolving Fund, I think it's broken. Okay, second. all right, I just want to make sure that I, yeah. Dr. Glade team, we're good with? Um, yes, this came from yeah, yeah. our town accountant as well. Yeah, yeah. And so what this is doing is allowing us, originally, there's been a lot of confusion over the opioid fund and where to put the yeah. money and how to deal with it. Yeah. So originally they told us to put it in a stabilization fund. So now they're saying, no, you can put it in a special revenue fund per this MGL and it'll just make it easier for us to deal with. So this is revoking putting it, having put it in the stabilization fund and putting it into a special revenue fund instead. Just happy that we answered the mail and the emails about this and actually got these funds. Yeah. Be amazed at how many towns thought it was either junk mail or oh, just no. didn't even send in the form and are not participating in this. But basically, this is the state has changed the way that they want us to account for this money. Yeah. That's correct. All okay, that's, that's correct. correct. That's and all it is. Yeah. What will actually be less work for our, our treasurer? Yeah, it'll be question? less work for everybody. And okay. and it also deals, well, yeah, it'll it'll just make it easier for us to actually access the mm -hmm. funds as well. Okay. And my understanding is that it's a select board decision. So, you know, it'll come out of the special revenue fund per the select board's decision. It'll take happens. money out, but the vote on this article now requires finance mm -hmm. committee. So, Article 18, to see if the town will vote to revoke the Opioid Settlement <coughs> Stabilization Fund and transfer any dedicated funds to the Opioid Settlement Special Revenue Fund as for the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53, Clause 4, and as authorized by the Department of Revenue, Division of Local Services, Director of Accounts, or take any other action relative thereto. Anyone care to second? Second. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 5-0. Thank you. Same motion for the select board? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, so with Article 19, I just want to let you know that our treasurer said this is usually submitted by the Finance Committee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It says so. so. Yeah. It does now. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't We've been doing 20,000 for, for years. Yeah. Yeah. And so I don't know that's we're, we're, that we're doing, there are, there are some towns that are doing 10,000. 20,000 actually makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Article 19, to see if the town will vote to transfer $20,000 from free cash into the OPEB, other employees, other post employment benefits trust fund, or take any action relative there too. Anyone second. care to second? Second. second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Five Same motion for the select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 20. 20 would make sense. Article 20. See if the town will vote to transfer $11,755 from free cash to the general fund for partial debt service for the highway garage facility or take any action relative thereto. Are we here to second? Second. All in favor? No. Aye. Aye. Is there I, any reason I, why general fund I just capitalized? I, I, I just, maybe I missed discussion on this. Oh. So we're going from free cash to the general fund. Isn't the general fund free cash? General stabilization fund. Well, stabilization fund. Yeah, right. so it's kind of a typo. No. See, it just says general fund, general stabilization fund. General stabilization fund. I mean, I can capitalize it if you want. Okay. That's great. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So, should we uh, revote on the uh, Article 20 and change the general stabilization fund? I'm, I'm sorry. General yeah. fund. General fund or general stabilization? Is that no, gen it's going to the general fund. Oh, general fund. Yeah, because this is this is for um, uh, this is the partial debt 
and it's part of um, our treasurer's paying off the note. Yeah, and, no, we have and years ago, years when, yeah, when, when the highway garage facility, when this was, the loan was done, it was voted at that time to yeah. take some of it from free cash it's every year. sinking fund to keep level payments every but year. That's go yeah. But this money from free cash is going into the general fund for Jan to pay it out of the debt service to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Am I missing something? So there was a fund set up for this? No, it's going into her general fund account, which would be, I okay. say. Because it, to me it reads like it's going from free cash to free cash. <laughs> no, because it's going to the general fund. Oh, yeah. So, like, you know, for instance, whenever you do, um, you could have a special account that it goes to. Like when we did the mosquito thing, it went from free cash into an account that's under the select board, five thousand dollars for mosquito. That's in, you know. Our okay, general. so, so, it's, so this a, would so be it's going into that account. This would be under seven ten, probably under debt service. Okay, yeah. as part of it. Right. This is our fourth year doing this. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Right, well. Sure. Not that I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> so I make a, uh, a motion. We care to second? Favor. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Now we did this because it was going to result in having a level annual debt payment, right. which for budget and planning purposes makes life a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely. So same motion for the select board. Second. All in favor? I mean, if we're Aye. Um, Article 21 is, is boilerplate every year. It's, it could be every three years, but we're always nervous that we're going to forget on the third year, so we just throw it in every year. All right. <laughs> it requires finance committee votes, so Article 21, to see if the town will vote to authorize the transfer and collector to enter into compensating balance agreements for fiscal year 2025 as permitted by Massachusetts General Law Code Chapter 44, Section 53F, or take any other action relative thereto. Okay. Just a second. Can I get an explanation? Right. Compensating balances would be uh, anything that requires a compensating balance to negotiate debt or whatever. It's basically allowing them to do their jobs. We just have to put the legal language in here to, to do it. This is something that gets voted every year. Yes. Yeah. At general mm -hmm. Council. Or general Council advised that we have. We have this warrant yep. article every year. It doesn't give us the authorization to for any specific action on that, but just to be able to have the ability to negotiate. Yes. Anyone care to second? Say it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. I don't remember this being every year. Uh, um, it was on last year. It was on last year. That, that was. Maybe. I think we, did, we added it last year, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, because council. For the first part, time, because yeah. the council. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> dictate from from our east. So you guys were five zero, right? Yeah. Yep. Same Hawaii. Motion. <laughs> Same motion for the select board. Second. <clears throat> Aye. 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 Um, Article twenty two. Just to let you know, this went nor every other year. It's been five thousand. They went up to six thousand this yeah. time. I'm assuming for the reason all of them do is because yeah, costs go up. <laughs> Article 22, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer from available funds or otherwise provide $6,000 as a partial contribution for a future evaluation work or take any action relative thereto. Anyone care to second? Second. Second. All, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Five out. Thank you. Same motion for the select board. Second. Aye. All in, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Article 23. Article 23. You see, if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer from available funds or otherwise provide $2,920 to the field library to help ensure its accreditation or take any action relative thereto. Any care to second? Mm -hmm. All in favor? No. Aye. 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 No. Five vote. Thank you. Same motion to that board. Second. Aye. 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 All in favor? Aye. It's Probably one of the best values in town. <laughs> yes. Seriously, Indeed. it really is. We, yeah, they're having a senior. Take a there. take a look and see what Deerfield, Sunderland, the Waitley all pay for their libraries. Mm -hmm. I don't want them. 120, 140. <laughs> yeah. Just like absolutely. Just lucky, lucky, lucky. Resource blessed. 
Um, Article 24, I still think the wording on this one is, uh, is clunky. The first sentence in particular just seems duplicative and too much and not really, hmm? I don't know. Well, the question is, do you feel it's the right time to rescind this? Or do you want to leave it on the books? That's totally up to you. I just didn't want to forget that it was on the books. So if it's still on the books, like we are still at liberty to borrow, to borrow. up to $1.5 million. Specific to the Specific, yeah. Specific to the And storm. people, even even after you can't know, uh, rescind it, people are still going to think that you're going to do it. It's, 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 I, would, I, I would rather rescind. Can yeah, we I mean, reference the specific article number from the town? It's, a, it yeah, it's in there. It's right it's there. The, 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 the next sentence. But it says rescind article of the December 9th. It doesn't say right that. below it. It has the yeah, language. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Article thank three. you. Oh, thank you. Right. <laughs> And just to remind so everybody, during our last town meeting, when we talked about the approval for this article, the prior article, uh, we did state that if we received the, mon the funds, yep. that we would not use the but, monies yeah, from this article. Very clear. So I think it should we should resent. Yep. And I, I actually, you know, to 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 be really be clear, I like adding a few extra descriptive words besides rescind, cancel, and nullify. Um, just because people don't get what rescind means. Yeah. You know, that you're just saying that it's as if it never happened. Um, but um, I took I, this from a former warrant that was, that's yeah. directly yeah. from another yeah. one. Maybe, maybe you can be more specific in the warrant light about what the word rescind means. Well, we can, or, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We can, we can right. do that in the warrant yeah. light. But, yeah. And it might make sense to, the, the below described Article 3 might make sense in that first sentence. Because it does read it does read clunky when you just say rescind article of the. You know everything reads clunky on the warrant. I think that's where mm -hmm. we have to just explain. That this means that we are not at liberty to borrow one point five million dollars, which we were previously. That's that's what the vote was. That that allowed us to borrow up to one point five million. And you know I probably should have clarified. Not all these have been. Well, I haven't gotten back from town council, so some of this wording she may be tweaking. And of course I'll come back to you and say yeah. you know if you confirm yeah. whatever, but. Um, so what quick, I could suggest is what we borrow with the understanding that we would be, you know, paid for back by the state to an essentially it's a bridge loan. So if you want to talk about it, make it to a bridge loan. We didn't borrow anything. We didn't borrow We didn't, didn't, borrow didn't, borrow yeah, we didn't have to. The original, yeah. original thought it was going to be a bridge loan anyway. And we, but, didn't, we didn't know yeah, that, they were, that the state was going to give us it. So as long as this, since, since we, Voters approved this warrant article. Like we are still at liberty to borrow one point five million dollars yeah. tonight, so, as we speak. Exactly. That's so, right. so we should rescind that vote because we're not planning to do that. Correct. We have been made whole by the state. Exactly. We have so, been more than made whole. We, uh, we, 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 we have been made well. Ah, that was hard. We could have done more. Twice as much. So, should we vote on Article Twenty Four tonight? I think we should. Okay. Uh, Article Twenty Four. See if the town will vote to rescind article of the December 9th, 2023 special town meeting which was to pay for the cost of road repair after the July floods or take any action relative thereto. Can we take a second? Present. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Five vote unanimous. And uh, same motion for the select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. May I have a, just a question on Article 25 before the Finance Committee gets into it? Um, it? So I'm just a little confused, and I see that we submitted it, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> this was a Donna special. Okay. okay. I think yeah. this, was, this was on the warrant last year. We had year it last too. year. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. question to her is, do we need to have it again this year? My yeah. question is, I, because know. if I was a town, if, if I was, you know, just a, a citizen in there reading this, I'd be very confused because... Are we talking about fully funded grants or match grants? Just any grants. Any grant, because most grants are reimbursed. If it's a match grant, then we need to ask for yeah. the match. Like okay, so that's yeah. that's my it's question. We yeah. shouldn't be expending any town money. Well, it based requires on us to fund so, the money. So even well, a match you, this is how we explained it. Says do not acquire require town appropriation. Yeah, yeah. It allows yeah. the select board okay. to pursue any and all grants that don't explicitly right. require a town meeting vote or right. appropriation of town funds. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Got it. So this would be reimbursable because most state grants these days, unfortunately, are. 
Yeah. I, I look, if we we did do this last year, it makes yeah. no sense that we have to do this this year. Well, that's why I'm, I have my so let's, next question. So let's hold off on that and just see. Okay. Well, I, I feel right. like there's a couple of things here that are just like, finality. Like, yeah. That's what we described. It's like, but, we have to do this every year. So. But I don't, there's, it, I don't see why. The, I understand why some other things you have to do every year. I don't understand. There, it do, this doesn't reference any statute. It doesn't reference yeah, anything. That's true. There's no. Yeah. There's no right. or date or date. <laughs> like, really no. But also, if, 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 we if we have if, if we do have these warrant articles that we, for whatever reason, we have to vote on every year just as a formality. Let's just yeah. put them all together in, in one, one section. Yeah. yeah, so that we can get that out of the way either at the beginning so, or at the yeah. end. I like that. Right. Good yeah. idea. E either way, either way, let's skip it. So th yeah. those are good. That's a good point to it. So maybe Attorney McNichol to see if there's any particular Massachusetts general law statute that this uh, complies with. There isn't. Otherwise, it'd be cited. But, yeah. Um, hmm. Twenty-six, obviously not ready. Yeah. Um, 27, I'm glad it's the finance committee going first because <laughs> you get to read this, <laughs> not us. Oh, that also seems um, like a formality. Yeah, <laughs> same thing with 28, so. Um, and these are, yeah, these are straight from. And these are ready to go. These are straight from town council. Yeah, yeah. And it reads that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I have to read the whole article 28? No, I don't think you need to. 27? <laughs> I'll go that first. Let's have three quarters of these. So. Do you have money article? Yeah. Do, do the whole fraction, even though it's all point zero zero, <laughs> for whatever reason. Article 27. See the town will vote to authorize the select board to acquire by purchase gift, eminent domain, or otherwise for general public way purposes, a permanent easement consisting of 2,119 <coughs> square feet of land, more or less, for the purpose of riprap placement and environmental restoration, a permanent easement consisting of 82 square feet of land, more or less, for the purpose of overhead utility easement, and a permanent easement consisting of 50 square feet of land, more or less, for the purpose of overhead utility easement, and a temporary easement consisting of 11,500 45 square feet of land, more or less, for the purpose of grading environmental protection slash restoration and temporary overhead utility work all on the westerly side of North Poland Road, Town of Conway, Franklin County, Massachusetts, from Deborah J. Craven and Willis D. Burnett, heirs and devices of the estate of Josephine L. Burnett. I'm not going to read the document number. For the North Poland Road, over Poland Brook Bridge replacement, bridge number C-20-004. Said land is more specifically shown as parcel DE1, PUE2, PUE1, TE1, on a set of plans to record it entitled Even Plan of Land, North Poland over Poland Brook Island, Massachusetts. Prepared by Green International Floyds Incorporated dated November 20th, 2023, and as amended. Said plans are also filed with the Town of Conway Town Clerk. For seeing any other vote or votes in relation there too. Anyone care to second? Hmm. Is, is there a dollar? Sure, second. No, is there a dollar amount associated with this? There was. Yeah. He read it. Yeah. Yeah. Weren't you paying attention? <laughs> you should, like, put the two articles together. No, those are square feet. There's no dollar amount. No, no, no. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. No. Because no, the no, easements. We don't tax ourselves. So the easements are donated. And yeah. They're donated. So, yeah. Correct. So well, we just. What do they get? Oh, there's no. The, they're donated. No, they're donated. They're, donated. <laughs> they're very kindly donated. Yeah. Well, this kind of easement, not. I'm sorry. I mean, when they put power lines in it, had easements. The people who granted the easement got power brought to the uh, home and returned the utility, got the easement back in the 1940s and 50s. Mm -hmm. So usually there's a quid pro quo. Well, the, all I can tell you is that the donation forms have been duly filled out and notified or verified. So cool. Right. Yeah. Okay. And this, right. this, this short circuits the amount of time that it takes to do this work by a lot. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and that's one of the things they're grateful for. Yeah. They're the neighbors. Um, and they're, you know, I did just pursuant to this and as well as the next, so I guess, did you vote? No. no. Yeah. All right. We Once have a second. We have a second. Once you vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye
<laughs> All right, we'll we'll wait for a second because um, so yeah. until yeah. we have our unanimous. But I did get to speak with Bill Burnett this week. Um, and this is related to all of this, that there is a slope on this stream, on the stream that is, we, we've seen the pictures, that severe erosion, a worrying level of trees falling over, et cetera, et cetera. It is really important that um, we get the state to do something about that. And um, well, he did report that, this, that they did a site survey, mm -hmm. which is, they usually don't do that if they're not planning on doing something about it. Sure. So um, as just like one of the things that we could do to express our gratitude for these yes. is to just to send a letter to the state saying, would, could, could, would you please do this? So, to take care of the slope, the, the erosion. Do the rip right. Um, we have the pictures, we have the pictures, etc. We have Nick Miller's commentary on the, the stuff. And they know about it already, but let's just jog their memory and see if we can get a firm commitment um, to take care of it. That's yeah. the one thing that they're really worried about, and with good reason when you saw the, when, when you looked at that erosion. I know I saw it. I'm the one who sent the pictures to I the know, state. I know, I know, <laughs> so I know. So let's get a let's get a call. It's it's. I think it's like one of those the, categories of the least we could do. The thing well, is, yes, but the, 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 the concern with that is that I don't know who would be doing the work, and natural heritage would be. There's a lot right, of moving it. pieces to this. But so I can do my best to keep helping moving it along. Exactly. That exactly. I can do. Exactly. That's what we want. So, um, same back, yeah, back to language. back to Article Twenty Seven. Same motion for the select Second. board. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. With this one, all you need to do is read the parcel numbers, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Article Twenty Eight. Let's get right to parcels. P U E three, P U E four, P U E five, T E three, and T E four. Anyone care to second? Second. Second. All in favor? No, aye. Aye. Five or Same motion for the select board. Second. All aye. All in favor? Aye. aye. Unanimous. Twenty-nine. Uh, can't do twenty-nine. I think we're. That's not. Okay. Uh, Thirty. We're done. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You can go watch your cartoons in the other room. Oh, thank you, Marvin. I make a motion for the finance committee to adjourn. Okay. And just, we're meeting Tuesday of next week here. Yeah. Okay. 23rd of Tuesday. 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 Tuesday has all the makings of a close the warrant day, too. So. Yeah, let's, we're, we're, uh, this, is, this has been a lot less painful this year than originally. Yeah, 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 we don't say that yet. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, 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 not till But all the attack yeah. improvement, on, no, no more new attack <laughs> improvement thing. Everything's a quote. Right? Mm. Right? Is it closed? Chris has, Chris has no more cap More specificity. Yeah, I need to. No, but no more new proposals can be accepted for fiscal year 25 on cap improvements, correct? That will be closed. Yeah, we are going to. <laughs> there's not, yeah, there's not going to be any new yeah. capital requests, to the best of my knowledge. Right. But until the warrant closes, right. the warrant's open. So. Because didn't, didn't, didn't the request period officially end, or does it end this week? Um, for the, for capital, yeah. we didn't set a date. I asked everybody to get them into me by January. Yeah. Well, we're going to close the warrant the 29th at the, the end of this month. So. Well, the warrant originally was supposed to be closed tonight. Yeah, but, but it's, we built in. Yeah, we so. built in. Well, no, that's that's voting out the warrant. That's different. You can close so that you can say we will not accept the warrant. Okay, so we can still get a citizen's petition. Yeah, and until the board decides to close the warrant, people can still, and originally the date was going to be right here. Tonight, but well, that's just the other side. That's going to be next week. So. Yeah. so I won't give you no time. That's fine. So the. Um, Oops. So uh, we don't have. Anybody answers in 48 hours? No, town administrator update, not this week. Um, select board, anything? Uh, 
Our mail. We talked about announcements. The next meeting is when's our executive session? Oh, that's right. Friday. Friday, Friday the 19th. Friday, Friday the 19th at 5. 5 o'clock. And, um, and the next select board meeting, which will also be a finance committee joint meeting, is Tuesday, April 23rd at 6 o'clock. Why are we not doing it Monday for Monday? Uh, Alan. Oh, okay. Yep. Tomorrow meet it is um, the uh, Zoom. Well, Donna will be dialing in the Zoom. The rest of it is like the finance team just getting all the clunky, wrestle the whole stuff set up. Wait, we have. Oh no, no, I thought that was an executive session. No, on no. Friday. No, no it's, it's Friday. Friday. It's Friday because Friday the nineteenth. Oh, sorry, I had it on. We had to have the Friday. actual other participants in the meeting there. So <laughs> right. Um, so that's when they're available. Both. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> in the hopes that. Well, thanks for ruining my weekend. <laughs> you can zoom in if you need to. No, I'll zoom in. Where were you going to go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, with that, a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.